Here we are giving our reaction to the Jeff Ruby Steaks. Trust the Profits is proud to be sponsored by Game of Silks. Go to silks.io to get in the game. Real ownership, real races, real rewards. All right, guys, here we are. Jeff Ruby Steaks, zero minutes to post. They're starting to move the horses around towards the gates. Uh, Ombre, Tim, what are you guys thinking? I'll go first. Uh, I I don't feel strongly enough about the horses taking all the money, so why yeah. not reach for a price? I'm going deep with an exact a key box, but uh, okay. I like Woodcourt a lot more than the public seems to like Woodcourt. The seven at seventeen to one currently. Yeah, that's, I do too. Uh, that's going to be a key box it's horse. I hope he gets involved in race of the season, in an exact at least. Of the Jeff Ruby uh, Tim, where are you at on that? Do you, do you have? Do you agree with the public here or no? <laughs> you, you know, I I don't I don't know where they're going right now. I think uh, a lot of the money it looks like I don't know why they've got the nine highlighted because I'm seeing the the ten is lower odds. So I expected yeah, yeah. that, but you know I I'm I I don't have a lot of faith with the West Coast Invader. So I I like right. Lucky Jeremy in here. I like the three. And you think he's going to be up on the pace? Because I think that's uh, I do. I, I do. I, I, I think he's going to be at least very close. If he's not on the pace, he's going to be right there behind it. And, and I like that stocking uh, position in this race. So, Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I agree with you there, Tim. I, I think Woodcourt is a, a fun play here. Endlessly, I think it's definitely the class. But sure. you definitely wonder at Turfway how the horse is going to react to that. Haven't seen him in a while, I feel. Uh, currently 7-5. to five. That feels like way too, way too low here. And I think we're all lined up. We're all loaded. I'm getting ready to fire off here. Let's go. Should see Lucky Jeremy on the pace. And uh, a whole other, a whole bunch of other horses probably sitting right behind him there, per my ratings. And it looks like a pretty even break. Lucky Jeremy broke well. Down on the inside, Lucky Jeremy is uh, going to look to take an early position. It looks like Northern Flame just outside that one. Then a little bit further now, uh, further out, you got... Uh, uh, that's I believe that's a nine horse sees the gray. So uh, yeah. every everybody in uh, the micro share world is loving it right now with the position <laughs> at one. Uh, Noted is also gonna... right there, uh, right there on the rail behind the three. So you got three, six, four, eight. It looks like eight being Otello. Not not super fast to the quarter. They went twenty three point thirty three. Lucky Jeremy uh, going pretty easy up front right now. Northern Flame still sitting in a good position just outside yeah. those to it looks like uh, noted is uh back in about fourth position there on the rail just outside those i believe that's the 12 west saratoga up a little earlier than i thought would be early on uh, sees sees the gray still uh out there with the outer position but looks like dropping back just a bit lucky jeremy still uh, still looks like full of run i think still well in hand right now so still, still surprised before we see northern flame Seven looks like you might have some quick kick, Tim. The seven and the ten back there. So we'll see what yeah. that close. Absolutely. Seven it looks seven like dropping a little bit. Like where Lucky Jeremy is, it looks endlessly like moving. the outside. Um, endlessly moving big time. Yeah, endlessly, as endlessly is really starting to make a move. He's jumping. Let's get this seven minutes. So he's pushing the gray out of the way. Seven. Find a spot, seven. Oh, wow. Someone went sideways. That was seven, seven and four. He bumped big time. It looks like Endlessly has taken over here. Endlessly is in the lead. Endlessly is going to prove to be much the best out front. Seven trying to split. Jeremy for a second. Hang on for a second, Lucky Jeremy. But no, not going to do it. At the top of the stretch, uh, the seven Woodcourt and the four noted almost had a big accident. I don't know if you guys saw that. But Someone went sideways. Like, up right. I, I saw a bump of horses. I can't believe they got out of that without a horrendous crash. That was that got scary for a minute. For Let's sure. see if they throw sure. an inquiry up here to take a look. Yeah. yeah that, I got news for you. That seven horse was fully loaded. And now I'm not yeah. just saying that because I was on him. Because yeah, I right. had him bet. But he was fully loaded, and then he started pushing noted from like a 45-degree angle, and that almost got real scary. Yeah, he was looking for a gap for sure. He was better than 17-1. to 1. And look at that finish at the end there. Second place is going to be hard to tell. And third place. Who was that in between? Because I don't uh, – I saw Seize the Gray in there. I saw Endlessly. And I think I saw Northern Flame maybe. But it's hard to tell. They're all bunched up. Oh, we saw the four as well. I want to say noted was 
the fourth one, but they were, I, I think like that's were, who it was. I think it was the four in there in between horses yeah. that just got second. Yeah, let's see, here's, let's, here's let's see it right. again. If you can tell. I see nine, six, uh, yeah, seven, I think, was and it I think four? four. No, yeah, not the six. No, it, there's a six way back. I think it's four nine. Four, I, I think we got ten four nine. Ten four nine. There's the four. There goes the four. Maybe the fourteen was in there. Oh, was it the four just crossing late? I don't. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't tell who that was. It was, it was just, hard to see the saddle call. Thing. It was a mosh pit. I was rattled by it. I, I thought we were looking at a disaster at the top of stretch, man. I'm, yeah. I was just happy I started, to see that. Started getting a little scared. I was ready for one of those fasten your seatbelt moments there, but glad yeah. it didn't happen, obviously. I, absolutely. So and we'll I'm still surprised the, uh, not official the official. Yeah, let's see what's, what officially comes down. Did you guys see where the three ended up? Was the three in that pack? Yeah, I think the three got back to about fourth. Mm -hmm. So he was in that pack then. Yeah, he ran. Yeah, he, yeah. Ran, he held up there pretty good. He, he, he ran well. Might have he might have hit third or fourth, and he definitely fell out of the exacta. But I, I, well, I, think this. He, I think he fell back to fourth. But that that's what I wanted. That's what I had uh, in, in my tour de force was ten three, with with a host of horses for third. I mean, we talked about endlessly seven to five. We thought that that was way too generous, but endlessly sure. when he started coming out of that turn, definitely showed that he was the best horse. So Absolutely. without a and doubt. seven and four, I think had a lot more uh, at a they big did. price, both of them, no but caps. they got caught up in that. That was a mosh pit at the top of the stretch because the, there was, they were three wide in front of them and the faster horses were all behind stacked up. It was, it was, and that's when disasters happened and it was close. Absolutely. So again, right. Absolutely. they dodged one there for sure. This is a really They're not showing photo. replays. That, that replay is going to be wild. If, if if we don't get a replay of that before we uh, sign off here, take a look yeah. at the top of the stretch if you didn't see that live. It was crazy. And let's just yeah. say there's no inquiries yet. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm surprised they're, they're, they're taking a while with the photo. They're not showing an inquiry, so I don't know if they're taking a look or what they're doing. Yeah, they might it's be doing probably both. because the 10 was not impacted, and he ended up right. winning it easily. But, but if you're awesome. second or third and you think that you were impacted by either the 7 or the 4, Whoever seven or four would that. be the ones that you'd think would have the complaint. Probably yeah. the four because the seven was pushing him from behind. I think so. It was think pretty, so. pretty gnarly looking. Endlessly gets it done. Endlessly gets Does it this done. put him on the, I mean, guys, the last couple of years, this, this race has generated a serious Kentucky Derby <laughs> contender. Is this, we doing well, this? I, I don't, last I don't year know. Two fills. Yes. The year before that was Tis the Bomb, but third place was Rich Strike. So Rich Strike was really oh, okay, the contender yeah, there, not right. Tis the Bomb. But um, they, they, they've generated some legit horses out of this race. And Endlessly win, ends up winning that one convincingly. Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. I mean, I think Jim, they put him here you for think, a reason. Uh, there we go. So there, there was, uh, it was West Saratoga there that was inside. Oh, wow. So 10, 12, 9. And then Triple Espresso got ahead of Lucky Jeremy as well. So. How is seven and not up there, though? Place 12, West I Interesting that West Saratoga finally uh, comes back because that West Saratoga, yeah. born and raised. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more of these live reactions to all the Kentucky Derby preps. Thanks for watching. Peace. Awesome.